Located in the Washita Mountains, Winona Wildlife Management Area consists of almost 175,000 acres of rugged upland terrain with narrow valleys. Numerous streams carve their way through the area, including the Maumel, Saline, and South Fouch Lafave rivers. There are also a few man-made lakes, such as Lake Winona, Lake Sylvia, and Bear Creek Lake. The Arkansas Game and Fish Commission manages Winona WMA with controlled burns, timber management, and waterhole development. But the area's food plots are incredibly popular among both wildlife and hunters. We got 111 food plots and we maintain them every year. We usually plant half of them and then the other half will bush hog to keep encroaching woody vegetation and keep, keep the opening there to create, create some habitat diversity. The Arkansas Game and Fish Commission replants the food plots each year on a rotational basis. This is the one thing out here in Winona specifically that it's a constant uh, forage source for these, for these critters, even when you have a bad uh, fall mass crop. Summer native plants play a big role in the plots during warm months, but they become less plentiful during winter. Once you start getting into the, the cooler months, a lot of that stuff is, is no longer found in these plots, so being able to provide some supplemental planting that's going to grow stuff up that they're going to be able to use in the fall and winter time, that's the reason you know we kind of do what we do as far as you know getting that forage out here on the ground in the winter time. Producing year-round vegetation creates more opportunities for different wildlife species to use the areas. Your bears will use these plots, especially once the uh, wheat heads start growing up. Also, various songbirds will use these plots. Maybe migrant songbirds, neotropical migrants, and even butterflies, different kind of bugs will come in here and use these plots as well. Planting food plots isn't easy in the Washita's. Wizenhunt and his crew use large farm equipment to break the rocky ground before sowing the seeds. We use contract labor to come out here and they'll bush hog and plow and they're responsible for planting the wheat and the uh, doing the fertilizer. Then I'll come back and do the rapeseed and the brassica and then some uh, uh, ladino clover on top of it. Most of the plots here at Winona, you're looking at a range anywhere from a half acre to about four acres in size. They are irregular shapes, some of them are very linear. And really, in our mind, that gives the critters some, uh, some, I guess, they feel comfortable going in them. The Arkansas Game and Fish Commission and the U.S. Forest Service work cooperatively on Winona WMA, providing beneficial wildlife habitat while also helping create some of the natural state's best hunting opportunities. We do a lot of bear work. We have collared female bears that we monitor each year to monitor the reproduction. You know, we got gobble surveys. We have quail call surveys that we do each year. And of course, your observation surveys. So, you know, we try to get out here and do as much as we can to figure out, you know, what's going on with the critters and what we can do with the forest service to help improve the habitat along with, you know, managing all the food plot and wildlife open to maintenance here. The WMA features numerous hunting possibilities, including open seasons for deer, bear, quail, turkey, and small game. The best advice I can give hunters is when you're fixing to go out and hunt an area, especially like Wino and Wildlife Management Area that's so big and you have so many different options to go, get out there before season, learn the area, put your boots on the ground, hike into some places maybe that you've identified utilizing Google Earth or the interactive mapper where there might be some food plots or some terrain features that you would think would produce uh, some good hunting, and go and scout that area out. That's just gonna make you a better hunter, and it's gonna let you find out where plots are that have been planted, which ones have not been planted, and also, because it is public land, there's always a chance that somebody else could come in here with you. It'll also give you more options besides just one area to hunt. It's just gonna put yourself in a better position to have a successful hunt.